I'm sure you've heard the news. According to the SEC, Left generated about $20 million in profits from illegal trading involving almost two dozen companies. Prosecutors accused him of repeatedly misleading the public, taking issue with what they called his sensationalized reports, and describing times when he indicated he would keep bets going much further, when he was already in the process of taking winnings off the table. At one point, Left bragged to colleagues that some of his public statements caused retail investors to trade the way he wanted them to, and that it was like taking candy from a baby according to the SEC. This taking candy from a baby part isn't new. Chalmath did it with the SPACs, Ryan Cohen did it with Bed Bath Beyond. Some investors said they interpreted Cohen's smiley moon emoji as a signal that he still believed Bed Bath and Beyond shares were headed to the moon. Then Cohen quietly exited his position which reportedly netted him $68 million. When Cohen revealed he had sold all his shares in the company, Bed Bath & Beyond's stock price plummeted. The company ultimately filed for bankruptcy. Then we have AMC investors who got screwed by CEO Adam Aaron. The tribe loves screwing the 99% and they will do so willingly. If you don't wake up now about getting taken by the media, you will keep losing in the stock market. With Andrew Left, let me tell you, looks do not deceive in this case. Just look at that scumbag. Stathis helped the SEC nail the stock manipulator Andrew Left. Prosecutors announced criminal charges against him, while the SEC brought a civil lawsuit. Cases that could upend his firm, Citron, and send him to prison for years. Stathis has been exposing scam artists, disinfo agents, and tribal fraudsters in the financial media for over 20 years. If you keep seeing the same mofo appearing in the media, you gotta get your spider sense ready and start wondering. Click the link below to learn Stathis' track record. Ask yourself, are you the dumb money for the tribe? Don't get taken by the media.